To do this, companies would get a tax credit to rehire those workers that were laid off during the pandemic, and travelers would get a credit on all their trade show related expenses. Our first order of business, of course, is crushing this virus, and we are making great progress in doing that. Um, and as we defeat this virus, we need to quickly be able to rebound, and this bill will help us do that. The bill also includes a credit for restaurants who renovate or increase their service post pandemic. If this passes in Washington, all of the, me the measures would be in place for several years. Next on Politics Now, protecting our great view. One of the earliest bills to pass a house uh, in the legislature keeps Nevada's rural skies dark. We'll talk about it here on 8 News Now. Welcome back. Parts of rural Nevada have some of the, as you see there, darkest skies in the country. And a bill that has been passed by the state Senate aims to keep them that way. Senate Bill 52 lets the state give a dark sky designation to places that don't have a whole lot of artificial light or light pollution. The goal is to draw in more tourists who want to bask in the stars. The Senate passed the plan unanimously this week and now heads over to the state assembly. All right, so now in what to watch. It's the return of school here in Southern Nevada. Monday marks the first day some Clark County School District students in K through third grade will head back to actual class on campus. We're going to keep an eye on how it goes in this first week. And next week also marks a year since our first coronavirus case here in Nevada. We're going to dig into where we are now with the pandemic and look back at the year of lockdowns and wearing masks all coming up next week. We thank you very much for watching Politics Now. Don't forget you can stay up to date online on all the things happening in politics here in Nevada and around the country on 8newsnow.com. We'll see you back here next Saturday. Take care.